Hey children, how are you all? Hope you all are having a great time with your family. I welcome you all to today's English class. Children, today we are going to continue our poem evening. Yes, the poem that we started in our previous session will continue that. But before we move further, let's have a quick recap of what we have learned till now. So children, this poem Evening is written by a very famous poet of the modern era, Thomas Miller. In this poem, the poet describes his feelings when the evening sets in. That is, the time when the day is over. What happens during that time? Yes, the sun sets, stars, white stars, they appear in the sky and the whole atmosphere is filled by a darkness. The long grass is wet with dewdrops. The bats, they fly in the air, they go back to their homes. Children, at this time when the evening sets in, the animals like lambs, they lie down to sleep. And the birds, they go back to their Nests. They get into their nests. There is calmness all around. Yes, we can see in this picture. Everything is so quiet and calm. Although it is dark, but the poet, he is not afraid of this darkness. He does not fear anyone. Why? Because he feels that God is with him. He feels as safe in the dark as in the light. This is because he firmly believes or you may say he strongly believes that God is with him all the time and it is God who protects him. So, this was what we read yesterday. Now, let's move on further. We'll first recite the fourth stanza or the second part of the poem. For God is by me when I pray. And when I close my eyes to sleep, I know that he will with me stay and will all night watch by me keep. For he who rules the stars and sea, who makes the grass and trees to grow, will look on a poor child like me. When on my knees, I do him bow. He holds all things in his right hand. The rich, the poor, the great and small. When we sleep or sit or stand, he is with us. For he loves us all. So children, this is the second half of the poem. Fourth, fifth and sixth stanza that we are going to discuss today. Okay, 
we had read in the previous stanza that the poet says yet of the dark i have no fear that he is not afraid of the dark he is not frightened by the dark because he feels that god is with him all the time and protects him through the night then he says for god is by me when i pray and when i close my eyes to sleep i know that he will with me stay and will all night watch by me keep he says god is by me by me here means by my side that means god is with me when i pray we can see a little child praying to god he says that god is with me when i pray and when i close my eyes to sleep also god is there beside me just next to me with me when i close my eyes to sleep i know that he will with me stay the poet says i know i am aware that he yes children please mark over here he he here refers to god we know he is a pronoun but you might be wondering it is in the middle of the sentence still h of he is capital my dear children when we refer to god and we use the pronoun he then h of he will be capital that is while referring to god h of he is capital so he over here refers to god i know that he will with me stay i know that means i am aware that god will stay with me will remain with me will be there with me and will all night watch by me keep and will all night all night means throughout the night god will watch by me keep watch by me means yes god will pay attention towards me or will take care of me to watch over something is to pay attention to that thing so god will throughout the night god will be there with me and will take care of me right so the poet says god is with me when i pray he is there with me when i close my eyes to sleep and he is aware even after closing his eyes the god will remain with him throughout the night and will take care of him so such a firm believer such a strong believer of god next stanza he says for he who rules the stars and sea who makes the grass and trees to grow will look on a poor child like me when on my knees i to him bow he says for he who rules the stars and sea rules means controls he over here refers to god because the one who controls the stars and sea see children the child the poet is a firm believer of god he believes that everything that happens in the world is because of the power of almighty god he is the supreme power he is the one who rules the stars and sea he is the one who controls the stars and sea that means the stars shine and the sea the presence of sea everything is controlled by god 
who makes the grass and trees to grow. Yes, God is the one who lets the grass and trees grow. Almighty God is behind the presence of all these things. The stars, sea, grass, trees. So he says that he rules everything. He controls everything. Will look on a poor child like me. Poor child over here refers to the small child. He's saying, the one who controls everything will definitely will look on on a small child like me. When on my knees I to him bow, he says, when I pray to him, when I pray to God, on my knees, I, on my knees to I to him bow means, on my knees bow means children, when you like briefly bend your knees, or your head or your body forward, especially uh, as a sh way of showing uh, respect to someone or for greeting someone when you bend your body or when you bend your knees, that is called bow. So he's saying, when on my knees I to him bow. He says, the one that is the God who rules the stars and sea, who rules Everything in this world, he will definitely look towards me. He will definitely pay attention towards me when I'll bow to him on my knees. When I'll show my respect towards him. When I'll pray to him and at that time God will definitely look towards me, will definitely pay attention towards me. Next answer. He holds all things in his right hand. The rich, the poor, the great and small. When we sleep or sit or stand, he is with us. For he loves us all. Okay. So here the poet is saying, He holds all things in his right hand. Again children, pay attention. Him. I to him bow. Him over here refers to God. Similarly, his and he. They are referring to God. Okay, he holds all things in his right hand. So the poet says, he holds, holds means carries or keeps all things in his right hand. He carries everything in his hands. That means it is the God who is the ultimate controller of everything. It is the God, he is the God who does everything in this world. Everything that happens is with the permission and you can say with the grace of God. So he holds all things in his right hand. He keeps everything in his right hand. Everything, what does that include? The rich, the poor, the great and small. Yes. This line is very, very important. He says everything. The rich, the poor, the great and small. Children, it is we, the human beings, who create all the difference. That he is rich, he is poor, he has done something great or he is a small person. But in the eyes of God, everyone is equal. So that is why he's saying the rich, the poor, the great and small. God holds everything in his right hand. Be it a rich person 
or a poor person or somebody who has done something great or just a small creature. So, for God, everyone is equal. He holds all things. That means he controls everything with his right hand. When we sleep or sit or stand, he is with us for he loves us all. So when we sleep or sit or stand, in the end, the poet is saying when we sleep or sit or stand. So whatever we do, either when we are sleeping or we are sitting or we are standing or we are doing any kind of activity. Right? Whether we are working, we are praying, we are doing our work. Every time he is with us, he here refers again to God. God is with us. So during all kinds of activities that we do throughout the day, God is there with us. For, for means because, because he loves us all. Because God loves us all. God loves all of us. So whatever we do, whosoever we are, whether we have done something great or not, whether we have lots of money or not, nothing is important in the eyes of God. He loves everyone equally and is there with everyone. Right? During all the times. So children, with that, we come to the end of this poem. Hope you have enjoyed it. Now, would you like to recite the poem once? Okay, let's do it. It's a very beautiful poem in the reference, reverence of God. The day is past, the sun is set. And the white stars are in the sky. While the long grass with dew is wet. And through the air the bats now fly. The lambs have now lain down to sleep. The birds have long since sought their nests. The air is still and dark and deep. On the hillside, the old wood rests. Yet of the dark, I have no fear. But feel as safe as winter's light. For I know God is with me there. And he will guard me through the night. For God is by me when I pray and when I close my eyes to sleep. I know that he will with me stay and will all night watch by me keep. For he who rules the stars and sea, who makes the grass and trees to grow. Will look on a poor child like me. When on my knees I to him bow. He holds all things in his right hand. The rich. The poor. The great. And small. When we sleep or sit, or stand. He is with us, for he loves us all. Written by Thomas Miller. So children, that was the complete recitation of the poem. I hope you have understood the meaning of the poem, what the poet wants to say. You have to practice the recitation of the entire poem at home. That's all for today. 
we'll continue with the exercise questions of this poem in the next session till then take very good care of yourselves stay healthy stay happy and stay blessed bye bye